Welcome to Nursing with Professor B. In today's video, I will be going over medical abbreviations, the letter B. It is my favorite letter of the alphabet because my name is Bridget. <laughs> Anyways, I have a master's degree in nursing education. I am also a family nurse practitioner. Knowing these medical abbreviations is very important, especially if you're just starting out in nursing. Um, because you will see them in clinicals and you may even be tested on them. So it's important to learn them, recognize them so that you can learn the lingo in the medical world. But before we get started, make sure you hit the like button, make sure that you subscribe and make sure you turn on that notification bell. Let's go. Okay. Medical abbreviations, the letter B. We're starting with barium, B-A. Barium is a chemical element. It is found on the periodic table. How does it pertain in regards to nursing and the medical field? Well, barium sulfate coats the inside of the esophagus, stomach, or intestines and allows those areas to be seen more clearly on CT scans or other kind of x-ray imaging. Barium sulfate is used to help diagnose certain disorders of the esophagus, stomach, or intestines. We see here they did a barium swallow, and then they're able to see a tumor because you see the narrowing of the esophagus. Blood BAC, or blood alcohol concentration, it's the metric used to measure the amount of alcohol in a person's bloodstream. BB is breakthrough bleeding. BBB blood brain barrier and the blood brain barrier is just what it sounds like it's the barrier between the body and the brain that allows only certain substances or certain medications to cross that barrier and this was um, actually discovered in 1885 when Ehrlich injected blue dye into the blood into the bloodstream of mice and the dye stained all of the animals organs blue except for their brains and then a bundle branch block you would often see on an EKG or on an ECG, and it shows abnormal and distinctive patterns indicating that the electrical impulse in your heart is not flowing correctly. BBT, BBT is basal body temperature, and basal body temperature is the body's lowest resting temperature, which is usually best measured first thing in the morning, right after you've woken up. You would need a specific thermometer to measure basal body temperature that shows two decimal places. So here we have again um, barium. Remember, it's a chemical element. It is on the periodic table. A barium enema, instead of going down this way, goes up the other way. And again, it helps visualize whether it's x-rays or imaging or CT scans to see what's going on in your intestines. BID is an abbreviation that means twice a day, and that's why I have two little clocks, right? Because it, two times during the day, you have to give medication. BK is not Burger King. It means below the knee. So a below the knee amputation, for example. So any kind of injury that happened, BK is below the knee, which leads us to our next thing. BKA is below the knee amputation. BL could be bleeding, baseline, blood loss. So again, context is important. I have another video on medical abbreviations A, and in this video, I do talk about how Whenever possible, don't abbreviate. Um, this is mostly so that you know what potentially the abbreviations could be, but you don't want your entire paragraph to look like one long abbreviation. BLE is both lower extremities. BM is could be bowel movement. It could be body mass. Usually, though, when we're talking about B, body mass index, we abbreviate it as BMI. So usually, if you see BM, it could be bowel movement or bone marrow. Uh, bone marrow as you can see here, usually this is the area where they will take the bone marrow from. Basal metabolic rate is BMR, and your BMR is the estimate of how many calories you burn at rest in a 24-hour period. It represents the minimum amount of energy needed to keep your body functioning, including breathing and keeping your heart beating. So this is exactly why personal trainers talk about lifting weights and increasing your muscle mass because muscle burns more calories at rest than fat. So by having more muscle on your body, if two people are sitting just doing nothing all day and one person has more muscle and the other person has uh, more fat, the person that's burning, the person that has more muscle on them is burning more 
uh, calories at rest. So it's, in a sense, it's like they have a higher metabolism. So BP right? could be blood pressure. It could be bathroom priv privileges. So you could say like the patient has um, ad lib BP, which means like at liberty bathroom privileges. They can go whenever they want. Or it could be birthplace. BPH stands for benign prostatic hypertrophy or hyperplasia. These two words are used interchangeably. As you can see here, it says hyperplasia. So it could, you know, a lot of times now people are using hypertrophy, but either one is fine. And what essentially is happening in BPH is that the prostate enlarges and the prostate does tend to, it starts to enlarge with age, but then the problem with it is when it's not enlarged, the urethra, the urine can flow freely. But when you have urine here and you have a prostate that is pressing on your urethra, it makes it really hard to void and get that urine out. And the prostate goes through two main growth periods as a man ages. The first occurs in early puberty when the prostate doubles in size. The second phase of growth begins around age 25 and continues during most of a man's life. And BPH happens with the second growth phase. As the prostate enlarges, it pinches the urethra, and the bladder may weaken and lose the ability to empty completely, leaving some urine in the bladder. The narrowing of the urethra and urinary retention it can cause a lot of problems. So for this reason, um, men may experience maybe like um, incomplete emptying, frequency, urgency, etc. BR bed rest. BR BPR is bright red blood per rectum. The most common reason for why someone is having bright red blood is hemorrhoids. Uh, symptoms prevention and treatment. So this is an external hemorrhoid. It's uh, hemorrhoids are very painful. You can get bright red blood. Um, symptoms prevention and treatment. So by eating fiber, drinking water, exercising, um, having bathroom habits, or soaking in warm water, it can help with the symptoms of uh, hemorrhoids. BRP could be bathroom privileges. Not a very common abbreviation, but I am getting a lot of these abbreviations from the Fundamentals of Nursing book, Potter and Perry. So just covering whatever they put in their book. BS is not what you normally use BS for. It is blood sugar, right? So in diabetes, their BS was 167. Um, could be bowel sounds, BS in all four quadrants. It could be breath sounds. BSA is body surface area, and the body surface area is the total surface area of the human body. Surface area is used in many measurements in medicine, including the calculation of drug dosages and the amount of fluids to be administered IV. BT could be bleeding time. This is an older test. It's not that common anymore. And a bleeding time test determines how quickly your blood clots to stop bleeding. The test involves making a small puncture in your skin. The test is a basic assessment of how well your blood platelets work to form blood clots. But again, not very common. A lot, a lot of times now they'll do like your PT, INR, etc. BUE is both upper extremities. This is an important one. BUN or blood urea nitrogen or blood urea nitrogen. And essentially it's a measure of how effective your kidneys are working. So we have our little kidneys here. So then when they do a blood test and it's higher, it means that your kidneys aren't really working up to par as they should be. Urea is a waste product that's formed in the liver. Now, um, in the abbreviation, it had BV for blood volume, but actually as a nurse, I've seen BV be used more for bacterial vaginosis or as a nurse practitioner also. So I'll talk about both. Blood volume is how much blood you have in your system. Whereas bacterial vaginosis is a condition that happens when there's too much of a certain bacteria in the vagina, and this changes the normal balance of bacteria in the vagina. So many women with BV have no symptoms, but if they do have symptoms, they'll notice a thin white or gray vaginal discharge. They may have pain, itching, or burning in the vagina. They may have a strong fish-like odor, especially after sex burning when urinating or itching around the outside of the vagina. 
Usually with BV, what takes women to the doctor is the strong fishy odor because it's very strong. It's very pungent. Um, and that's really what is the most annoying out of all of them. And that's why they will go uh, present to the clinic. BW could be body weight or birth weight. So how much do you weigh? And look at him. He's just, just so cute. Such a cutie pie. BX is a biopsy. So this biopsy does not look good. It actually looks like maybe it could be infected. But anyways, um, when they take a biopsy, let's say that you may have a suspicious mole. They take a, bio a biopsy, they look at it under the microscope and they determine if it is, if it has cancerous cells, malignant cells. If it has malignant cells, then they have to go in and just remove more of the area. So that is all of our uh, medical abbreviations for the letter B. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you hit the like button, make sure that you subscribe and make sure you turn on that notification bell. Bye. Mm -hmm.